Joining me now to discuss is the editor of The National File, Noel Frisch. Noel, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. So the deprogramming, I mean, wow, the projection is so real. I mean, she's even using the type of terminology one would use who is actually trying to wake up the masses for, to what's really going on in front of them. It's uh, unbelievable, uh, it, but they say it out loud, and this is part of their humiliation ceremony that they like to uh, wield against us. They beat us about the head with what they plan to do, and that is send us to re-education camps, uh, which is what they've been doing to our kids, by the way, for decades. A former teacher here still recovering, and I'm waiting for happy hour here at 5 o'clock today. Uh, it's uh, quite a recovery we're going to need if, to come out of this Marxist hangover, is it not? Right. It's baffling that anyone could continue to listen to Hillary Clinton and all her lies, you know, the collusion, the corruption, the nefarious dealings. I mean, whatever happened to Seth Rich, right? But she's protected by the establishment media, so don't talk about that. Don't look over there. And, you know, continued to be framed as some kind of, of saint, but uh, that's just how this game works. Hillary uh uh, infamously, famously, memory holdly, if that's a, a, an adverb. She was talking about civil wars back in 2015, 2016. She was predicting the coming civil war. Um, and that's what these people are on about. They are on about uh, the extraction of all the wealth from the United States, the destruction of the populist movement. They've been on about it since uh, before Ron Paul, since uh, before Pat Buchanan. Going back to Joseph McCarthy, Joseph McCarthy was right, by the way. I think we can, can we all now admit that our, our communist school books that taught us that Joseph McCarthy was something to like avoid, like that was all fake and false. That was fake news. I think we can all admit that now. I think you bring up really great points. You know, mainstream media doesn't want us talking about that, but, but we can definitely go there. Um, you know, it's interesting you point out all these movements, the populist movements in the uh, past, uh, in, you know, even just recent history never got big enough, right? I even want to say maybe Bernie Sanders was, you know, in a way, uh, definitely, I mean, a part of that as well. Um, of mm. course, he had some radical ideas, but but still, you know, I think a guy that was for We the People wanted to bring people together, get past this division. But though, since those movements didn't take off like the MAGA movement has, you know, they, they were more easily crushed. Uh, and now, you know, they've got a real formidable uh, opponent on their hands with Trump. He's a juggernaut. They do have a problem. And that's one of the things I tell folks all the time out there doing our publishing work or political work or whatever it is we're doing, is that you always got to remember the bad guys have problems too. And one of the problems they have is Hillary Clinton. And they, they have a really shallow bench. Man, if you look past Joe Biden and you look down the bench and you say, hey, who do we want to, who, who are you going to call into the game? I don't know who do they got. I mean, you're, you're the, the crazy guy in California who used to be Guilfoyle's uh, uh, boyfriend or whatever. And then you got uh, Kamala, another Californian. We just kicked the Californian out of the U.S. House of Representatives. Thank God. Why are all these Californians in charge of our government? Uh, can we can we get move past this, please? The nation is, is not uh, not all Californian, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, but no, what's it called when uh, critics of a regime are targeted by uh, arms of said regime? How would you what would you define that as? Right. Uh, the fascism. Right. Okay. I like corporate syndicalism because that's what we're looking at. There's a lot of good memes around on the Internet that are exactly true. And this is why the right can meme and the left cannot meme, and, uh, even though I hate uh, the terms right and left. But. Uh, the right can mean because they have the truth. We have the truth. And uh, the memes that talk about, you know, um, uh, it, it essentially the left just being the, the fascists uh, are 100 percent correct. These are the people who are uh, joining together. I'm gonna, being too long winded here, but the memes basically say that you can't be anti-establishment and anti-fascist if literally, you know, every corporation plus the government, by the way, is on your side. We'd like to welcome you to our new home for uncensored news and hard-hitting talk shows. If you're tired of cable companies and social media giants chipping away at your most basic and important right, freedom of speech, by shadow banning, demonetizing, censoring, and policing every single one of your posts, then One America News on Locals is just what you've been looking for. Finally, you'll have the freedom to express your point of view and stay connected with like-minded fellow patriots. And the best part is, OAN on Locals is only five bucks a month. All of our credible, honest, unbiased reporting, 
ad-free talk shows, and exclusive content, all at the fraction of the cost of cable. So to watch, just click the Join button to get the news you can't get anywhere else.